exception right in the error message. Where is that? Yeah, right there. So unreported exception. You're not, you're not catching it. There are certain exceptions and they force you to catch them, and that's one of them. Yeah. Or throw them. And so I have to, I have to catch that type of exception. So what is an I/O exception? Well, yeah, that's a weird one. I mean, because you're thinking, well, I already got the file open. So how in the world am I going to get an I.O. exception? If I hit the end of the file, I'm just going to return a negative 1 from that method. So how can you get an I.O. exception? Any ideas? OK, so let's say you're reading from network disk. The network goes down. You're going to get an I.O. exception. File's not. You didn't hit the end of the file, but you can't read the file anymore. Let's say you're, on, you're reading from a disk. And somebody deletes the file, you know, another That's user or you yourself delete it in the middle of reading it. Then you're going to get an I/O exception on that. Too. So there's there's ways to have it happen. It's just what, basically that means something has completely screwed up that was unexpected. 